What is up beach bums? Good morning. Uh, I've got a couple of things to do today. Headed to a tackle store. I've got to get a new reel because one of the ones I've been using has not been cutting the mustard. It's a good reel. It's that piss of fun reel. It's actually a really good reel, but it's too small for the setup that I have. So we're getting a new one. We're looking for a cup. Did we find it? Yes. Found the cup. Life with a toddler. You're going you're gonna to lose things, aren't we? Oh, yeah. I think we've lost our play phone, haven't we? Have we lost our play phone? You gonna say hey to the camera? Say good morning, say cheese. I have a motto about lost things though. Usually they do turn up, so. And they do, right? Maybe. Most of the time, they do turn up. Haven't found the phone yet though. I haven't found the phone. phone phone's, still, phone's still lost. Also, I'm looking at beach carts. I'm kind of starting the process. I've got to get a new one. Uh, people give me grief all the time, and, it, and it, it's it's not easy to pull. The, the tires are flat. They are the not as great rubber tires. I need to get either either the orange. Uh oh, uh oh. There's a dog in that car. It's a big dog. <laughs> the car's running though. I think, I think the dog's fine. But I need to get either the orange tires or the gray tires. Um, I don't know if I want to get... There's a lot of loud vehicles driving by right here. I don't know if I want to get the senior or uh, stick with the junior size cart. So get a look at that. This is in Gulf Shores, one of our favorite spots. It's a pretty delicious breakfast joint. So we're going to eat first. We're coming to play outside because we're getting a little restless waiting on breakfast. There's, uh, it's actually a really nice day. What's over here? You you want to play play in those bushes? I'm excited. Whoa, that came out really fast. <laughs> Dang. Hold hands. Hold hands in the parking lot. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Breakfast was good. Disappointed in the eggs. It's it's been I don't remember the last time we went, but I don't remember the eggs like being. January or February. <laughs> yeah, I think we went in the off season. Because we don't normally have like a morning off this time of year. Uh, wait, there's a car. We're gonna wait let's wait on the car. <sighs> I know. But aside from that, everything was good. Definitely we'll come back. Hopefully there are eggs. Maybe it was just an off day, hopefully. We've lost our child. She's escaping. We are gonna head to J&M Tackle. That's where uh, I like to get a lot of my gear locally. I, I do still buy a lot of stuff online on Amazon just because the prices are so good. You can't beat it a lot of the time. You get like 40 and almost 50% off <laughs> on a lot of the pin gear. But I do still like to support a lot of the local tackle stores and buy some of my gear from them when I can. I think I'm gonna go with a spin fisher because I do want to upgrade my reels to that class just because it's got a lot of nice features to it. And I think, and they just hold up the best for what I do. But I don't like spending money. I just don't enjoy it. But you gotta have good gear. It's important. J&M's gotta be the biggest tackle store in our area. It's, uh, it's a place you can definitely get lost in and spend a lot of time and a lot of money. I like coming here. All right, they got a lot of beach cart options, and probably they've got the most in our areas, like actually available to you to look at. Uh, so here, here's what what I'm thinking, and I want your opinions on this. So you guys comment, and let me know what you think uh, would be a good fit. I have not purchased a new one yet, and you could I could replace the tires, which I guess is an option on the beach cart that I have, but. I think I do want to upgrade and go ahead and get a bigger one with more rod holders that are going to be already on the cart. So I may just go ahead and get a different cart anyway. All right, this is the senior with the nice gray tires. That's the business right there. That thing will roll like a champ. You pay for it though. These carts are not cheap. It's a little bit of money. This is a step down. This is the, the what well, it's the same price though. Really? I did not realize that. This one this one's the same price here anyway it is. But these are the orange tires. 
both of them roll, are going to definitely roll better than what I got, but I think these are going to be a lot more durable. And then we've got my current dinky one over here. This is what I've got right now. And it's nice. <laughs> these actually have air in the tires. That, how, how convenient. This one's a little bit cheaper than the other two. And I've not really experimented with this one. This one's got pretty much the same tires as the one I've got, but they're bigger. I wonder, I wonder if those roll better. So comment below, let me know your thoughts. Really those three options that I just looked at and just give me your opinions on what you think may be best. Um, one thing I do have to take into consideration is will it fit in the back of my forearm? So I have to think about that measure. This is what I'm thinking about uh, going up to. I really like these spin pictures. I haven't, I haven't done anything yet with the six. I've got a five, but uh, definitely the best option I think for surf fishing. Hey, hey. Here's old Caleb's rigs. Got our buddy stuff on the shelf here in J and M. I'm going up to the 5500, which I wish that the 45s. Because I like the smaller reel, the, the lighter setup, but I wish they had a bigger handle because I think that's really the main issue when you're using those long rods. I don't know what the term would be, but it's like it doesn't have enough. You can't really put a lot of pressure on it. Like it doesn't, it just doesn't reel very well when you have a big long 10, 11 foot rod, even just reeling in like a three or four ounce lead with that smaller reel, it doesn't crank very well. So whatever that term is, if you know, comment below let me know what you call that so you really if you're using those longer rods having that bigger handle on it makes a big difference so that's why we're going up in size this is Andy this is like one of the, the nicest faces you'll meet in in the tackle industry around here <laughs> sweet we're gonna put a 20 pound super slick um, a little bit of backing and then fill it up. So I, don't, I don't care exactly how much, but just save me a little bit of money with some backing. Okay. Uni, uni? Okay. I didn't know if you tied something fancier than that. Most confidence in, in, that in the uni. It's not like once it's this point, it's coming out of gods and small. So mm -hmm. like... This is Luke. He's a beach bum. <laughs> what have you been catching, man? Spanish and specs. I dig it. He's going to check me out. You got to pay the bills. We are back at the house and wanted to show you the reel that I had on there before and what I'm changing it to. This is the Pissy Fun Carbon X. I like the reel. It's a really good reel. But it really needs to be on like an inshore ride, like a six, six and a half, seven foot ride, something, you know, around that caliber. Um, it just doesn't perform well when you're putting it on a larger 10 foot or 11 foot rod it just it, it just doesn't crank very well it, it just can't handle it i don't know i don't again i don't know what that is i don't know what you call it torque whatever i don't know i've been fishing with it for a while on the ninja tackle dagger rod which love that rod but that reel just wasn't really working out too well so we have upgraded now to the spin fisher 6 this is the 5500 and again, I would like to go smaller if I could, but when you go up to the 5,000 or 5,500, depending on what what line, you know, what class of reel you're going with, it gives you that beefier handle. And this bigger handle makes a world of difference when you are trying to catch fish or even just reel in your lead on those big surf rods. It is much easier for, for me, it's much much easier for my clients to, to reel with the bigger reel. So that's what I want to go with. I've had other 4,000 size reels, which that's what the Carbon X is, 
on 10 foot rods and it's the same issue it doesn't matter what the reel is i've had other pin reels that same size and it feels nice like it's really light i love the feel of and the weight distribution of it on there but functionality just wasn't cutting it that's something to think about when you're purchasing your combos when you're putting together your setups as far as what sizing you want to go with just keep that in mind when you are getting your your reels and your rods and you're pairing them uh, there are certain sizes that are going to pair better with certain size rods. It is important. Thank you for hanging out with me and the fam today. We were just, uh, I had a free track today, so we were just getting some things done and having a good time. Had some breakfast, got a new reel set up to go with my Pompano fishing setups. So I'm excited about that. New gear is always fun, but I do not like spending money. I just, I like being cheap. That's why I've stuck with the beach cart that I've had for so long, because I just don't like to spend that money. But you got to sometimes. Guys, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you liked it. And as always, you stay bummy.